Welcome to the second video on how to use the CMSA scoring software. In this video, we'll cover setting up your timer, adding and editing entries, how to enter horse tracking, entering times, printing results, and uploading times to the CMSA website. First, let's go over setting up your timer. Go to Setup, Settings, then click Printer slash Ports. You need to tell the CMSA software which port the timer is plugged into. Easiest way to do so is to open your device manager. To do this, you can open your control panel and go to device manager, or if you have Windows 8 or 10, you can search for device manager in the search box in the bottom left of the screen. Once your device manager is pulled up, click the arrow next to ports. If your timer is plugged in, it will be listed here. It will say prolific serial to USB and then COM and a number. For example, if it says COM3, then you would go to the CMSA software, and under timer, enter the port number three, or whatever it said in the device manager. Then check the box next to timer, then click save. Next, let's go over adding and editing entries. First, click event, then add edit contestants. When you download your event, all the people that have entered online will automatically be entered in your shoot. If someone comes to register on site, you'll do so through this screen. First, under step one, make sure you're on the correct event. If you're doing one shoot on a Saturday and one on Sunday, you'll need to switch between them here. Let's say I want to add someone to my Saturday shoot and then add them to Sundays. Under step one, I choose Saturday's event. Then under step two, enter their CMSA number and press enter. This will bring up the rider. If someone doesn't know their CMSA number, you can look it up by clicking the binoculars, then entering their last name and date of birth. It will then give you their CMSA number. Next, under step three, check the boxes of the items you want to enter them in. Say for example, you want to enter them into the rifle and the eliminator. Simply check these boxes. Step four will be for if you've entered a custom field whenever you created your event online, you would add them here. And step five is for horse tracking. Click the horse tracking button, then enter the horse ID in the first blank, and then the security code. It will automatically fill in the name of the horse. Then click save, then quit. Step six shows their total, and you can add stalls on the stall slash campsite screen by choosing the appropriate buttons. This screen will also show how many stalls and RVs you have left available to sell. Then click save and exit. Save the shooter's info. Then if you click print invoice, it will show you a receipt that you can give the shooters to have them pay. If the shooter then wants to enter Sunday's event, choose Sunday's event from step one and repeat the process. Let's say a shooter has already entered in your shoot and wants to make a change to their entry. You'll first pick the day under step one, then under step two, type in their CMSA number, press enter. It will show you what they've entered in. Let's say I want to remove rifle from their entry. Uncheck the box, then click Save Shooter Info, and that's it. You'll notice under Step 6, it reduced their total appropriately. If you wish to completely remove a shooter from your event, click Remove Shooter. Next, we'll be entering event times. Go to Setup, Settings, then make sure you're on the appropriate stage. Let's say we're doing Main Match Stage 1. Then click Save, then Quit. Now go to Event, Run Event. You can double check that you're on the correct stage because it will say the stage number at the top. It is extremely important to make sure that you are on the correct stage that you think that you should be on. Next, click the name of the writer. If the raw time box is highlighted in blue, you can then either type in a time or if you have your timer connected to your computer, it will automatically dump into this spot here. Press enter to go to the penalties. 
enter them and they need to be entered in multiples of five then press enter again they will still give their official time then press enter to have their official time saved if you need to make a correction to a time scroll up click the name of the person then make the change when you're finished with the stage you can print the results by going to print port generator then choose main match overall through stage one then click print this will then show you the results for you to save and print you have the option to print results by class or only a specific stage and many more options just choose the appropriate option last would be uploading the times to the CMSA website this is uploading the times so your shooters can see the results at your event they will also save the results to the CMSA website and they will stay on there forever for people to be able to go back and look at the stage times now this is different from sending your results to CMSA after the match is over with for the office to process them. This is only for shooters to be able to see the times as the event's going on. To do so, go to a Data, Send Event Times to CMSA. You'll need an internet connection, but once you do so, it'll place the times on the CMSA website on your event details under the Times tab. Here's an example. If you find the event on our website, there will be a Times tab. When you click it, that's where the times will show up once they've been uploaded. That's all for this video. Next time we'll go over how to add or renew memberships, change competitors into or out of the senior class, and how to enter your event prizes and print checks.